Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is International Master Benny Chang, and I'm going to be doing a five minute commentary today with uh, Blitz Pond 94. This is an International Master, so this should be a fun game. Um, Alright, so let's see what's going on here. This is a uh, Silent Dragon. Uh, I normally would play a game, but today I feel kind of sick, so I don't think I'll play at my best, and I just don't want to embarrass myself. I'd rather my friend embarrass himself than me embarrass me, if that makes any sense. Um, but yeah, this, this so far it's. Uh, you know, it's theory, I guess, so far. I think Queen Queen 2 is more accurate, but I mean, this is pretty much like the same type of move order. There's really no no difference. Uh, usually, White plays Queen 2 here, and say, Bishop 7 Castle. It's queen side, Bishop 3 Yeah, this is all theory. Uh, I'm usually not a big fan of you know, playing so much, so much theory games, especially the Dragon, because you have cases where you pretty much you know, play theory moves with theory, and Block has either lost or Block has a mini attack, you know. It's, it's kind of crazy actually sometimes, but uh, it is kind of fun sometimes just watching all the crazy stuff going on, going around. Um, right now I think the best move here, A6, I'm not sure about A6. I thought, uh, I thought somebody else would be played here. Hmm. Like maybe Knight C4 or something. Um, or I mean something. But yeah, so E6, G4. Takes h5, yeah, that's pretty normal. So I think bishop h6, yep. So I think here looks pretty normal here. Um, I really don't know what's uh, what's going on. I think maybe bishop f6 can be played. I'm not sure exactly how these kind of lines work. Oh, e6 is probably the best move. Uh, essentially, what Black wants to do is he wants to take all these pawns and you know don't get made pretty much. And he sacks. Well, of course, that looks like a very simple sack. Knight g6. Probably uh, knight takes e6 here. Yep. Rook takes e6, f takes, and rook takes, e, uh, rook takes g6. If bishop takes e6, it's possible to just take on e6 and rook takes g6 again. And of course, there's going to be some... Hmm. See, I'm not sure if this tag is actually enough here. Let me just take a look at Houdini really fast. Uh, or it is enough. Wow. So, I wonder if he sees this. This is kind of... Whoa. Yeah, see, bishop takes e6. I don't think it was enough, but... Anyway, let's see if he sees this uh, plus nine move here. It's pretty. It's not simple to see, but I think he. I think he will see it. Like I, I believe that he will see this move. You know, it's it's, it's insane actually. But uh, this is the type of move order. Given that takes f eight, king shades, and takes takes, which is d six. I'm assuming that's mate. That's why he has such a huge, huge score there. Um, hmm. What's going on? If he sees this, well, he's a hero. If he doesn't see this, well. Uh, it won't be as good, but uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll see how, how this goes. Rook takes g6. Um, I mean, besides rook g6, what other move can you play? You can probably sit knight takes g7 here, rook takes g3, nope, doesn't quite work. Rook g1, which takes, but then there's queens here, and that's a big problem, because you know you don't really want to give the queen that extra space, otherwise you can't go queen g2 afterwards. Um, this is pretty much a free, free move here, so if white doesn't do this, he shouldn't be doing too well here. I mean, the only move is queen g2, which I guess it could be played. Or knight 2 I think I thought some knight queen g2 as an evaluation move earlier. Uh, oh, he does see this move. Okay. So, queen h1. Okay, so, I guess queen h1 is forced. It's a good move. That That's a fantastic move there. I'm going to turn off this with you now because it's just cheating. Um, it's too easy actually, actually just to watch it. So, you can just see what he's going to do now. So, queen h1, knight d1 forced. And... Essentially, he has to take, take on g6. If he doesn't, then you know, it's really nothing's going on here. But then takes f8 check. Now, if king takes, queen d6, I believe, is mate. So, king kind of has to go here, which uh, which would make this kind of sad. And yeah, queen d6, this should be mate now. Uh, king takes king you know, e8. And probably should uh, takes g5 here. I mean, g7 should be forced mate. Yep, it should g7. And I'm going to ask him to play another game, actually, just because that first game. Well, it's really fast. I mean, I want to get stuff. I mean, maybe I can play the one big game. It's too easy to say. Oh, he's not saying anything here. Yeah, this is just crushing. This is probably like plus no main three or something. Bishop g seven, and queen f eight. I mean, that's what. Wait a second. Okay. Um, I think this is still mate though. But uh, huh, bishop f seven. Oh, right. That works too. Um, but this, I guess, I guess this works as well. I mean, the only move here he can play is, uh, 
bishop f8, but then queen 5 check is mate as well. And yeah, so this kind of just shows the craziness of you know the Sicilian dragon here. If uh, if you play like one round move here, you know black queen h4, you can you can get mate, and uh, that's kind of exactly what happens. You know, you kind of just got mate here, and I feel kind of bad for him, but you know at the same time, just don't play solid Sicilian dragons. It's just a terrible, terrible thing. Just a terrible thing. Even though Carlson and Nakamura can play and draw, uh, or like win sometimes, it's they're they're too good chess. You know, it's, can't compare. So yeah, he got this guy got smashed. You came, you smashed him. Good job. That was pure sex. <laughs> yep. <laughs> good job. All right. So I guess that will be the conclusion of the cast. Yes, I did. It's still going. <laughs> I'm just seeing all well, my best games. <laughs> oh man, this is another game. Alright, so I don't know if I should do this game too. Hmm. I'm gonna do a double cast. Good luck. This guy is good. Yeah, so that was uh, that was a very interesting game. This guy has no flag. I just, I have no idea who Lakianov is actually. If anyone knows who Lakianov is, please give me a shout because I have no idea. And he he he's really good. Like I think he beat me a couple times too actually. Peace that Lakianov. He beat me once. Yeah, that the guy. Yeah, I don't know who he is, but he, but he definitely knows how to play chess. And his five minutes is off the rails. He's probably like a twenty seven hundred GM, maybe maybe twenty seven hundred. I don't know, but. Uh, I don't know, you know, he doesn't have a flag, which kind of ruins the whole experience for me because I try to you know, guess who my opponent could be and you know, I try to make it you know, fun and exciting. But if he doesn't you know, give us a hint, then it's not really that much fun. F6, so I guess he just takes it. I mean, you have no choice here, you gotta take, take, take the guy. Um, yeah, F6 takes on F6, pawn takes F6. I only see uh, black point E5 here, I don't think. I mean, I don't think E5 could be played in these kind of situations. B5 is possible, forcing A5, um, but I don't really see what the point of that move would be. Yeah, just pawn takes F6. I mean, I really don't think E5 is going to play here just because there's really no, 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 no points for playing that yet. Grab a C3, pawn C3. Maybe I take it, take and play E5. Although that's very risky though. Um, White has some tremendous attacking chances if he does do this and play E5. I believe that's move like you no know, bishop D6 or no. Bishop H is a good move too. And playing F5 eventually or playing E5 at some point in time is probably a better than an idea. And that's exactly what he's doing. Bishop H is a good move here. Um, fortunately for White, he has really no options. Uh, I mean, I think he could play something like Knight E5. Let me just or Knight G, Knight G5 or let me just just Chi again. Uh, I mean, Houdin likes White just because of the pawn structure. He's up in development kind of stuff. You know, pieces are pretty well put together. And uh, so far, so far, so good. Um, I think Knight C3 should have been played first, just to prevent you know all this shenanigans. Now I think the move like Knight H4 could, could come to use, because just in case he plays E5, you know, you can just uh, get that in. But uh, yeah, Knight C3 here. So Knight takes B4. Probably he's in play. Uh, okay, actually I don't know what, what's going on here. Sorry, I'm just using this thing a lot. So I guess he can't take there. Take take those guys. Who did, who did Dean doesn't show like you no know, taking his option, so I'm assuming it's not good. Yeah, so uh probably just too dangerous. It's 97, probably the size goes from me now. Maybe you can play rook c1. Yep. See this knight is best if like white can play e4 here and just get the ball rolling. But uh, so far it doesn't seem like he, he can get that in, which which kinda it's kinda weird. Uh if you can play, play e4 then White will be a lot better just because he can open the, the position while Black's still behind development. So his pieces are very, very uh, crumbled up. And uh, yeah, I mean, he will be doing pretty well. But he can't do that. So right now, Knight h4, probably f5, I would say. f5, g4 is possible. So oh, it's very dangerous. Oh, e5. This is a very risky move. Uh, see, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, sorry, I keep sneezing. Uh, shit. Yeah, this is oh god. I guess it's not risky at all. I guess White's gonna get hammered now. E five. I thought this was risky, but uh, yeah, this is a very 
Strong move, apparently. Uh, I can't do anything about this cold. This cold is just so bad. It just it's been on me for a couple days now. Taking zinc lozenges. Apparently, they're good for you if uh, you have a cold within 24 hours. You want to take some of those uh, lozenges. Just like, you know, put it into your mouth because that's where most everyone's cold comes from. The throats, the nostrils, those kind of areas. And apparently, it's supposed to be good. And I've been using it today and uh, better yesterday. So, it's gotten a bit better, but... Still sneezing, coughing a lot, and talking about the game. Yes, talking about the game. This game is so fascinating. E5. Yeah, uh... See, this is kind of why I didn't want to play, because I didn't want to get paired against Lucky Enough in, in my weekend states, you know, lose in 20 moves, because that would be pretty embarrassing. Uh... Don't really want to do that, so I'll, I'll let's, let, let's pawn do it for me. You know, if you lose 20 moves, okay, that's cool. But I don't want to lose 20 moves. Alright, so King H1. Is that a move? So... Apparently, it takes d4 is decent. Queen h5. Oh, I see. Okay, so this is actually a very strong idea for, for whites, I believe. This is very, uh, very. Whoa. Hold on a second here. Um, um, so, this doesn't seem to be quite uh, as good as. Uh, <clears throat> huh. So, yeah, unfortunately. I believe his time has come, and we're gonna have to stop this cast relatively soon. Let me. Uh, huh. So queen one, queen takes d four, unfortunately, and let's see d five here. Then it takes b six, or just take a rook, king somewhere. Then it takes c eight, bishop takes, rook takes c one. I think there's some stuff going on here. I mean, actually, what is going on here, sir? What what the hell just happened? I thought he was like plus four. Minus four. So that takes, red takes here. So he moved the king to the wrong place. Are you serious? Oh, it's because he has a check. That's why. So actually, he could have played just play knight of three here. Takes, red takes, and he has no mates. He could have just done that, but uh, I mean, white still has a game here going on. So I mean, it's still a game. It's only one's game here. We see two. Sorry, I'm, just, I'm uh, going up and down a lot just because I'm really confused by some of this guy's play and I'm, I'm a very confusing person so I try to look at their play multiple times uh, just give myself some more clarity and more, uh, you know, everything. Alright, so Queen C7 obviously B5 is being played. That's, that's like the most obvious move on the board. Then D4 is probably a strong move here. Forcing, uh, actually then D4, Queen E5, that's pretty strong. So he has to stop B5, so he plays B5 himself. But queen e5 now and rook e3. Or that move. Um, knight d4 is strong. Oh, knight d4 is strong here. Oh, that's not as strong as I thought it was going to be. Well, I mean, I thought this was going to be a very strong move. But, uh, what, do, what can you do here? Uh, rook c2, uh, bad move. So, he has to play a4 here. Rook e6. I mean, I just don't understand what the difference between b5 and a4 is. I mean, queen e5. Oh, he's losing a piece here. Ah, he should have. Yeah, he's losing a piece here. There's nothing to do about it. And uh, the game should be. I mean, I think we're going to keep playing for a bit longer. But yeah, this piece is not going to drop pretty soon. Queen e4. Yep. Unfortunately, that uh, should be the end of the line for him. Rook c1. Takes this guy and starting mate. So, bishop d5, queen d1 check, and yeah, good game, darn. Well, he had a great game, and the second game wasn't as good, but you know, this guy's a pretty strong player, so it's not, uh, not entirely his fault, but yeah, you know, they were good games though. So, uh, thank you very much for watching these, this double header, and I hope to see you guys next time, when I'm not as sick. Thank you, and have a great day. Bye.